What's up guys? It's Crystal here. I am back with another review video for you guys. And before I start the review, I do want to go ahead and talk about or will mention lightly briefly mention about the giveaway because I know this review video might be a little too long I decided that instead of talking about the giveaway I am going to have all the details in the description box down below so just open that sucker right open and just read about it if you're interested in my giveaway like the last video I did mention I wanted to hold a giveaway because I will be traveling very very soon so I will be inactive for the almost entire month of August so that's why I wanted to go ahead and get something from uh, either Korea or Vietnam and host a giveaway and this time I do plan to make it international so any of you guys can enter just make sure you read the description box and follow those rules and if you have any any requests for what I should include in this giveaway because I actually am not 100% sure what I'm giving away yet but I know I want to make sure it's skincare and uh, makeup so maybe some sheet masks from Korea or other things but it should be something that I can easily carry in my carry-on so nothing too luxurious guys but if you do have any recommendations please leave them in the comment section below so I have an idea of what you guys are interested in having your hands on so yeah once again just open the description box for the giveaway rules and information so for today's video i am reviewing a product from a brand that's not a stranger to my channel at all i reviewed two products from this brand already i'm gonna link those up in the cart above here and this brand is dear claire's by wish trend i reviewed their vitamin c serums and their mochi bb cream and i'm super super excited to be working with them for this video so this is a sponsored video they sent this product to me for free uh, so that i can review it and give my honest opinions and i actually actually was really really ecstatic when they reached out to me because uh, Dear Claire's is one of the brands that I admire the most because they actually really care about their consumers and their opinions and of course you guys know that if I cannot be 100% honest in my reviews I don't want to work with those companies and I know they listen to their consumers because they have a toner that I am a huge fan of I've tried many toners and whenever I use a different toner I always go back to their supplement toner and a lot of people with sensitive skin can't use their toners because there's I believe natural oils in it and it makes them break out or have a rash so they they actually listened to those people and made a version 2 of their toners taking out those ingredients so anyone can use their toners. So that's why I really, really, really love and admire Wish Trend or Dear Claire's. But yeah, I happily agreed to work with them when they contacted me and this product was sponsored. I also have an affiliate link if you guys are interested in purchasing this product. And what an affiliate link is, is that when you click the link and actually make purchases with my link, I do get a small commission from them. But if you're not comfortable with doing that or if you're not interested or support that kind of program, then I'll also include the non affiliate link in the description box below as well just so that you guys are comfortable and if you want to make sure that it's non affiliate just make sure that in the link it doesn't have peachy opinions in it so that's how you know that I'm not linked to that link <laughs> anyways enough rambling I am actually reviewing this little guy right here this is their dear Claire's midnight blue calming cream and I know I did get one or two requests to review this specific product or the blue line in general so when they asked me to choose a product to review I instantly thought to choose this product just because I got some requests. Anyways, this has 30 milliliters of product inside for $24.50. But right now, there's also a limited edition of a 60 milliliter product that's in a squeezable tube instead of the jar for 31 US dollars. And this is why I know they really listen to their consumers because a lot of people wanted a larger size of this product. And of course, Dear Claire's delivered. So, an like honestly, I can't get over how much I respect this brand and how much they really, really listen to their consumers. So a little bit about the product is that their main goal is to calm and soothe irritated and sensitive skin. So that means that this is good for all skin types, but the skin type that they mainly target is oily sensitive skins because those with oily sensitive skin tend to break out a little bit more or have more irritated skin, which is what I have. So this product was a good fit in terms of what skin type target they are trying to aim for. Now I wanna talk about the main ingredients of this product and I know I'm gonna butcher this specific ingredient because it's a little hard to say for me, 
but it's guazuline and it is extracted from chamomile oil which is an excellent component for calming and soothing irritated and inflamed damaged skin that also includes positive results on uh, sunburns, eczema, and other skin diseases too. Centella asiatica is also incorporated in the formula and I have talked about this specific ingredient before in my Cosrx BB Cushion review and I'll go ahead and put that in the cards up top for you guys as well. But Centella asiatica is basically a plant found in Madagascar that is mainly used to help heal acne and soothe irritated skin by also regenerating skin cells. Now, I don't actually have an unboxing clip. I don't know why I, I forgot to record one, but I still have the original box. So this is basically what the box looks like. It's a very simple black box that has all the information on it. And this is the jar that it comes in. This is the jar that it comes with and it also comes with a spatula to keep this cream hygienic for yourself as well. And the inside is a very blue, beautiful cream. And when I opened this, I was actually very astonished by how beautiful the shade of blue was and it's non-artificial coloring. The reason why the cream is so blue because of the ingredient guazoline and it's a very dark blue color so when it mixed together with the cream it created this very beautiful soft calming blue shade and it's I think it fits the title of the product really well because it's so calming and yeah okay so let's talk about when i use this product just like my kiva organics tea tree oil acne treatment review which was the last video i made i'm gonna link it up there as well there's a lot of mentionings in this video i don't know why i typically use this product at the end of my skincare routine both morning and night except for in the morning i use it underneath makeup or sunscreen so now that we talked about the product, let's go ahead and dive into me actually using the product. I'm going to show you guys some clips of my trial period with this cream and my first impression will also be in those clips. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll those right now. Right, so this is the first day before using this cream. I haven't used it at all yet. This is the state of my skin and I basically have all these under the skin bumps and at this point, really not any new acne. So here is my skin after applying the mask. I know it looks red, but my skin usually turns red when I apply my skincare. And I do apply very gently, but it's just how sensitive my skin is, no matter how much pressure I apply. But this cream is pretty lightweight and very moisturizing. As you can see, it's not too shiny looking. So let's go ahead and go into my first impression of this cream. So basically what I did notice that when I applied the cream, um, it was very, very easy to spread around my face just because it kind of had like a slick kind of texture to it. So it felt like it evenly spread on my skin with no problems. It is a cooling, calming uh, cream as well. There is an ingredient here that is meant to lower the temperature, I believe, just a little bit to calm any redness or irritation. And it's not a heavy freezing or minty sensation, but it definitely did have a cooling effect. It wasn't intense, but I could feel that it was there. I basically used it last night and this morning and haven't noticed any irritations or anything like that. I did notice that the redness in my skin kind of went down a little bit. I believe it really helped with the irritation. Um, my skin has been very pissed at me for a while now and it's been super blotchy and red, but I noticed when I used this cream just overnight that the redness decreased a lot. All right, so here is one week of me using this cream. The redness in my skin actually looks reduced, but other than that, there isn't too much change. During my second week, redness is once again reducing, but I'm starting to form some small whiteheads all over my face, mainly around my cheeks and around my mouth. By the third week, my skin is starting to look a little bit more calmer. Whitehead appearances weren't as much as the second week, which is a good thing. And then by the fourth week or one month later, my skin was looking pretty consistent really had any little white heads appear at this point but it also helped calm the size of my pissed off acne <laughs> All right, so here we are one month later. As always, I do want to talk about the pros or what I liked about this cream first. 
So just like the name and the actual product promises, it's supposed to cool your skin. And I actually noticed that. To me, how I explain the sensation, it's not a really strong minty sensation, but it's kind of like a really, really nice breeze during a really hot summer day. And that's how I kind of feel like what it feels like on top of my skin. I believe that this cream really did cool and calm down my skin because it's so hot in Texas right now and the sun is beaming down on your skin. I feel like every time I apply this cream on, my skin's temperature decreases and it just feels so much calmer and cooler. I also noticed as I use this product more and more that the redness in my skin was reducing because I always have redness on my skin and when I used this cream, I noticed it wasn't as noticeable. The formula actually glides on very, very nicely as well. It absorbs in my skin really nicely and it doesn't feel greasy or heavy at all either. And the last thing I want to mention in my pros is that I believe this cream works really great under makeup because like I said, it's so hot in Texas right now and the sun is super, super bright. Because this cream is underneath all my makeup, all I really feel is the cooling sensation. All right, so now I want to talk about the cons of the product or what I didn't like about this cream. In terms of calming acne down or reducing its size, like the big pimples, it's very slow acting. It's not that fast acting. It was more fast acting with the smaller pimples. Also, I know that this product was promoting that it's very scentless, but to me, I think I have a pretty sensitive nose or that's what I was told, but I kind of noticed a scent in it and it kind of smells like a warehouse. I don't really know how to explain the scent and it kind of bothers me every time I apply it at first, but then I get over it, so it's not that huge of a deal. Now the formula of this, it didn't really break me out per se, but it did. I did get a lot of little white heads appearing on my skin by the second week of using this, and it was it was actually a lot of little white heads. I In the clip, I know you couldn't see it, but I had a lot, and I don't know, it might have been this cream just because it started appearing when I started using this cream, but if you live in really like hot weather or where like the sun is always beaming down and your skin always feels really really hot and irritated yeah i would actually recommend this for you guys just because i really liked the cooling sensation and how my skin's redness started dissipating or disappearing but if you get whiteheads pretty easily i don't know i don't think i would recommend it for anyone like that but yeah, like the, I feel like this is a perfect, perfect product for the summertime or any of you guys who just live in really sunny regions. But I did enjoy this cream. I did have a little difficulty with the whiteheads, but it wasn't that bad. And it started going away around the third and fourth week anyways. But it, it could be that my skin was trying to get used to this cream. So that could be the main factor. But I did enjoy this cream. I really love it underneath my makeup especially during the summertime. All right, so that actually wraps it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and this video. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. Just open that description box down below. And if there's anything I left out, anything at all, don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below. I will try my very best to answer all your questions and respond to all your comments. And if you found this review video really, really helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.